Hi, people. How you guys doing? It's yours truly. I'm trying to park this car. I'm trying to multitask here. Um, I typically don't do this, but I've had one of those days. One of them long, out, drawn out days. And I had a little spat with a colleague of mine, good friend, and I just wanted to just like vent just a little bit. I'll try to wrap it up in about two or three minutes. We'll see. <laughs> I'll try not to ramble on. But essentially, this is this is the, the scoop. Um, I have a girlfriend of mine. We've known each other for 30 years. She works in a department next to mine. And she, I walked into work the other day and she goes, oh my gosh, what a dude, cute little hairdo that you got there. And I thanked her, you know, told her that the process that it took me, yada, yada, yada. And um, she says, oh, I'm going to ask, I'm going to shoot you an email because I want to ask you a couple questions. I didn't think anything of it. So, yeah, um, you know, often sometimes you have your colleagues and coworkers uh, corresponding with one another uh, on non-related work issues. As long as it's not done, you know, repetitively and, 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 uh, and it's done, you know, not often, it's okay. You guys can correspond that way from time to time. We, we all do that. So long story short, she sends me this email and it says something about, um, oh, but she doesn't have it. That's what it was. She didn't have anything in the subject matter. It was completely blank. So I responded and like, we were responding to what she was asking me about my hair, my new do and all that stuff. And so I, I answered it and, um, but I put something in the subject matter. I put something, I put H A I R cause that's what we were talking about. Yeah. And, um, she re gives me an e sends me an email back. It's funny how you start an email, you create and formulate an email, and it's supposed to be one thing and it ends up being something else. So she goes, um, I obviously left the subject line blank for a reason. You would think you would know why, uh, you know, people are watching and monitoring our emails and people have gotten fired for saying things, you know. But we're talking about hair. Uh, just, and I mean, she just chastised me and everything. Oh, it gets better. And I'm like, I replied back to her and I said, listen, uh, boo boo, it doesn't really matter whether I put something in the subject line or not. We were discussing hair. So therefore I put that in the subject matter. Uh, duh. Um, and if big brother's watching, which he often does, you know, most of our emails and phone calls are monitored. Uh, we do work in a corporate setting, so it does happen, but I don't give a damn because I'm not, I'm not hiding. There's nothing I need to hide. And I told her that, um, I said, it's irrelevant whether something's in the subject matter or not, boo-boo. Uh, he or she, whoever's monitoring, will look at any given time anything that we're doing for whatever reason. She re responds back and she goes, well, well, I don't know why you're giving them something to talk about uh, and drawing attention and to to our email. But I'm like, what are you, what, is she paranoid? I, I mean, ooh, we're talking about hair. You know, you, you, we're not talking about anything top secret. She acts like I, you know, I did like a Hillary Clinton or something. This is just ridiculous. So um, she goes, sends me another email. And it, this is the part that really pissed me the F off. She writes in it and she goes, well, this is why, you know, you're being so difficult. And um, you, this is why um, you burn your bridges with people and you... Um, lost your position with your other employer. What? What does that have anything to do with me putting something in a subject matter or not? One has nothing to do with the other. Uh, wow. Okay, well, this is what we're going to do. You know, uh, don't correspond with me unless it's work-related. If it's not work-related, then you send it to my other private account. Therefore, not, there won't be any misunderstanding any, you know, we don't have to worry about Big Brother scrutinizing or reading what we're doing. Okay. Does that sound good to you? Because that was completely asinine for her to take it somewhere where it just didn't need to go. Uh, unbelievable. What do you guys think? Peace.